What's up, y'all? Ali Shakur, Third Eye Jedi, back with another video. Today I'm here with my pops, and um, he, he, he is uh, schooling me on some of the occult sciences. And one of the things we're going to talk about today is this guy named DeLawrence from Chicago. Growing up in Jamaica, I was about 13 or 14 years old when I heard about DeLawrence. So I wrote to him. I got a catalog from him. And I ordered a kerchief from him. And in the catalog, I stated, whenever you use a kerchief, whatever you're doing, you always succeed at it. Mm -hmm. So we were playing a game named Skittle, almost like pocket billiard. But he had pins in front of each hole, about one, one two, three, about four pins, if I remember correctly. And the object was to sink the balls into the hole without knocking over the pins. And if I was losing, all I had to do was take the kerchief out, wipe my face, put it back, and I couldn't lose. I mean, you could play Skittle all day, couldn't lose. <laughs> then, because of the success with the kerchief, I ordered a pen. And I wrote an application for a job as a lead former, I mean, lead electrician. At the time, I was an apprentice. I got a letter in return and replied that I should come in for an interview. I did not respond because I knew I was not qualified for the job. Mm -hmm. Days passed and the owner came to my house and asked me why I didn't come. I told me they had no, uh, no tools. So he told me, don't worry, they will provide tools. So when I went to his office the following day, he took out the letter, glanced at it, look at me, glanced at it, look at me, and said, the job is yours, start tomorrow. This pen, whatever you wrote with, with this pen, was granted. I got a talisman, it looked like a coin. By the way, the kerchief was silk, and in the center of the kerchief, there was a circle. Mm -hmm. And in that circle, I don't remember correctly, but there were seven symbols in it. The kerchief could never get dirty. I also ordered um, the six and seven books of Moses, the Book of the Dead, and if I'm not mistaken, um, something about the Psalms, I don't remember. Anyway, the six and seven books of Moses, there was one red book with a blank black page. And the facing page stated, do not turn this page unless you want to, um, if you turn this page, you will have no lot or part with God. Hmm. So I didn't read that book anymore. Mm -hmm. One night I got a vision or like a sixth sense told me to destroy everything. So I tossed the pen and I tossed the talisman and I decided to burn the kerchief. I lit it, it wouldn't light. I lit the matches, put to the kerchief, it wouldn't light. I went to the back of the house in the apex, in my back um, towards two halls. I tried lighting it, the matches went out. I got newspaper, I wrapped the kerchief in newspaper, the matches went out. So I said to myself, it's impossible. So I got some um, kerosene oil and I put in a garbage can cover and I wrapped the kerchief back in newspaper, put it in the um, kerosene on a garbage can cover and lit it. It wouldn't light. So I got a newspaper, another piece of newspaper, wrapped it, lit it and held it by the um, garbage can cover. And the flames that let out of that thing was over 10 feet high. Hmm. Red, green, black, every color you can think of under the rainbow came out of it. And I was scared shitless. <laughs> From then on, I had no interest in occult. <laughs> and then when I was about 24, 25, a friend of mine had a Ouija board. Mm-hmm. 
and we decide to play the Ouija board. And they start asking who died in this house and what date the person died and which horse was going to win the race. And about two hours of that, the Ouija kept going by, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And that night, nobody slept. There were people walking in the house. The following day, we got the Ouija board, <laughs> packed that baby up. <laughs> I went about three street, um, streets over and put in a garbage can. <laughs> I don't want to see another Ouija board. <laughs> and the Ouija board is just an ordinary board, it looks like brown, with all alphabets from A to Z mm -hmm. and zero to uh, from one to zero. And from zero to nine. Zero to nine. And then on top of it there is a, um, like a triangle with three legs. And the top of it was uh, like a piece of plastic, so it's transparent. Mm -hmm. So when you say the, um, the, wor the, the, the words I came with the Ouija board, when you say those sayings, the Ouija board starts, the, um, that triangle thing starts moving. Mm -hmm. And spell whatever you want, what the answer is. Mm. Now you said that the Lawrence... His stuff was banned in Jamaica? It was banned. Matter of fact, if I'm not, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, if you go to Wikipedia. Wikipedia, yeah. Yeah, and look up the Lawrence. Mm -hmm. They may find history of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on Wikipedia it says that it, his stuff was banned in the island of Jamaica. Yep. So in order to get it, you had to, they had to disguise the packaging. Yep. With no return address. Right. To get these items. If you're caught with it, you're going to jail. Mm. Wow. Y'all heard it first, live from my father. Peace. Make sure y'all subscribe.